Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Love Sam. A game about love, a game about a high school crush, and a game that you can get for yourself if you follow the link down below in the description. Alright, hope you enjoy it, let me know if you do at the end. Let's begin Love Sam, shall we? The only thing I really know about this game is that it's first person and I think a great deal of it is going to be reading a diary. And playing with light switches, I guess. Okay. So, here we are. Uh, right. Uh, is that... is that it? My dirty little secrets? Yes, I think it might be. So let's just have a little look around to start with, shall we? Uh, so there's no jumping, crouching. Do we have an inventory? I don't believe so. Okay. Nice little ensuite bathroom here. Nothing in there? No? Okay. Can I use the toilet? No, I can't. Never mind. Shower curtain? We're going to leave it as it is. Uh, let's see. Okay. Just a, a whole bunch of clothes in there. I think they need to be ironed. Uh, nothing. Okay, that one's locked. Okay. Yeah, my dirty little... What is this? Hang on. Uh, ah, here we go. Right. Re okay, yeah, read on to move on. So yeah, let's just get out of that and continue exploring, because I don't know if I want to move on quite yet. Let's have a look at the sort of kitchenette. Nothing in the fridge? Not really, not much. Oven? No? Damn, I must be quite short. I can't really see. <laughs> Is there a light for this place? Is it one of these? Ah, right, there you go. Yeah, still, maybe I could just <laughs> move that stool so I can actually see what I store up there. Uh, okay. Sort of wardrobe closet area, and that must be the front door. Quite a small place, just like a, a studio apartment, basically. Okay, yeah, uh, I think we should read the diary, don't you? So, my dirty little secrets. How do we open it? Oh, oh! Can I start drawing on it? <laughs> use the. F oh, hang on. Oh, okay. I was trying to use the phone, but yeah, okay. Let's begin. The last human on Earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on the door. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know. Overdramatic much? Knowing Brian Colmer as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Three years. No. Three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. What would B say if he saw me again? B left Rosenpeak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him, too. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched in your brain. So, no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I know B likes me a lot, too, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I giving him too little credit? So here comes the big question. Will he remember me? No, no going back this time. Right. Yes or no? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a great deal about you or him. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, will he remember me? Let's, uh, let's say yes. Yeah. Is that good? Yep, we just needed to answer that. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget cute. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough for him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what's happened to Joe's diner. It used to be my favourite place. Naturally, because it was B's favourite place to begin with. If there were two good things that were too good for Rosenpeak, it would be Brian and Joe's Diner. Home of the best pancakes in the world, apparently. Rated five stars. 
out of ten. Things were so much easier back then. B could just go, hey, and I would be like, hey. <laughs> Nothing but hanging out after that with some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. Will he remember my voice? Will he say hey to me again? Did <laughs> Funny coincidence, maybe, right? Alright. Um... No, 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 answer it! Oh, okay, I left clicked. Maybe I should have right clicked. That... Oh, I... <laughs> someone's trying again. Okay, right click. Yes. I don't hear anything. Okay. Can we try that again? Oh, it's out of batter. Oh, come on. Okay, right. Uh, yeah. Did time already ruin our moments? Maybe. Uh, I could call him a thousand times and more just to hear him say hello. I enjoy just feeling his presence on the other side. I even enjoyed imagining him eagerly await waiting to hear something other than my breath. I wish I could sneak into people's minds, look beyond their eyes just by st What the hell? Hang on. That's that fucking window, right? Hang on. Can I... Okay, let me get out of this. Again, just a funny coincidence, probably. Let's go back. Wait. Where did this come from? Okay, uh, so, 2006. This is when it's set, I guess. Uh, that as a debut outfit? I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of new school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the Queen of Wayright Academy. I spent last night telling myself, Confidence, Sam, confidence. But looks like I should have just spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm a candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know Wayright even accepted transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosenpeak, and I already, already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempt to socialize with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbillies. Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Keeping a diary sure can keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mum for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, almost forgot calling her. Write your later diary, my only true friend. Love, Sam. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, fine. <laughs> I wasn't aware there was a plain text version too, but there you go. Alright. I guess there's going to be more? Oh, for, oh Christ, yeah, probably. Uh, anyway, back to this. Uh, if I had that power, I would never stop looking through B's window. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep on going. Will B remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it's as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. Okay. Yeah. Life in Rosenpeak. Was it... <laughs> okay. Life in Rosenpeak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. Not exactly tasteful. But I learned to enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. Oh my goodness, there is going to be a lot of reading, isn't there? Wrote a poem in B's memory. He used to struggle with Miss Lassley's poetry practices, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Lassley always told us, Poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. But before his spirit can soar, first, he must answer the door. No. <laughs> I see what this game is trying to do, and it's doing it fairly well. Right. Sam? Is that you? But wait, I'm Sam, right? So <laughs> maybe it's Brian? I don't know. I can't really see too much, to be honest. Really dark hallway outside, I guess. Can we just try opening the door? 
locked. Okay. Well, maybe I need to find the key. I don't know. Oh god, it's happened again! There's another page! Wait, what's this then? Is this a continuation of the, the first day? August 22nd. Okay, yep. Uh, Stacy is a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favourite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite. I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stops talking about someone else. Sadly, coping with her bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mum called again. As far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rosen Peak. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us were expecting them to approve a transfer request of an 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get yourself together. If not for you, for Mum. Okay, I thought the door had opened. Just cause just cause of what I'm seeing in the diary. Alright, let's let's go. Hey, yeah. Oh bloody hell. Other Wayright kids were so predictable. Their doors were already open, even before I put my hand on the knob. But B's door was closed shut, and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him, but couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright smile. But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Never, ever. Right, so we're quickly going down the, uh, the road of obsession, aren't we now? Okay, keep on going. Oh, getting closer. And closer. Ooh! Well done, that was pretty good. Now I can't read. Maybe that's a blessing. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh, the desk lamp, yeah. Well, let's see if we can get all the lights on, if possible. I think I see the switches over there. Oh, great, the power's out. But, oh, not to this, though. Is there even a light up there? <laughs> I don't think there's a switch for it, but I don't know. Maybe it just uh, turns on when it detects me. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, yeah, let's continue to read. Hopefully the power will come back later. Just like my battery life, I suppose. You motherfu- They keep sneaking pages on me! Okay, my first Rosen Peak weekend. As the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as a setting for a mystery horror genre. Lush forest, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I could pay a visit one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm gonna leave the... Uh, well, I'm gonna leave those POI? Places of interest? Maybe? On my to-do list, which is already filled with a crazy amount of homework. I now know why youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get as far away from school as possible after class, to escape from the choking pressure the teachers give them. Even on weekdays, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others make use of the power of public transportation to get to the more crowded part of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of demon spawn. At least I don't have to be reminded how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. As for my weekend plan, I'll just improvise in the morning. Write you later, Sam. Are we gonna fill the fucking notice board? <sighs> if that's the case, I'm gonna need to get myself a drink of water. <laughs> anyway! So, B was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high grade for a star player. B was the best quarterback Wayright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on the field always triggered something tingly within me. Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. All sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache. A good kind of bad headache. I wanted it to stop. I wanted it to never stop. But as soon as B gave me that, hey, all those headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. 
Take away the pain, and let only the good things stay. Hi. Something's been cut out of this page. Oh. Where was it the... Oh, okay. okay. Uh, right, so... <laughs> Cover that up with a hay. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Oh, Jesus! Stop it! <laughs> For a boarding school, Wayright intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. I visited the library today and two things surprised me. One, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. And two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library. Maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed little sign of human touch. Now I feel sorry for complaining about Miss Lasley's book assignment. I wonder if Stacy is even thinking of picking a book. With her admiring her boyfriend Carl's tattoo all day, I doubt she has spare time to do that. Is she depending on Carl to do the reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, he's, e he's either busy reacting to whatever's coming out of Stacy's mouth, or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy. Brian, was it? So, yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. Hmm, okay. Was that it? Can I continue now? Apparently so. Open those eyes, no need for words. Hang on, can I go? No, I can't go back. The sweetest love songs, those eyes utters. So turn around and sing for me. Oh fuck. Hey there. <laughs> oh? A red arrow to... something in the fridge or the cupboard? I wasn't... oh. What was that? A hey! Who's perving on me? <laughs> What's going on? A bit of a strange photo as well, me holding a twig. It's coming from this sort of direction, but... Oh, hang on. Okay, well at least some of the lights are working again. What was that? Oh. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's where the stick goes, apparently. Would you believe it? There's more to read. Goodness me. Goodness me. Alright, here we go. I've started, so I will finish. Visited the library again. A bit more people than before, and among them was Brian. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a Major Skank's boyfriend's bud wandering around in the library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick the book for Miss Lassley's assignment. I almost got too close to him, trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. Uh, woe is me. Hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Write you later. Love, Sam. There you go. Alright. Uh, I guess there's going to be a second and maybe third row of these. Here we go. Right. Okay, no more pages. Let's continue. I miss him. Oh, God. We've got power back. Hooray! Okay! Hold on. It would have been about here? Oh? Ah! Let's go get that camera. Hmm. Okay. So do the light switches work again? That one doesn't for some reason, but that's okay. Let's just leave it like it is. So, anyway, yeah, what does this say? I miss him, even when I'm with him. I see him, even when he's not looking. Oh. Hmm, okay. We <laughs> Maybe I could scribble on the photo? Use the phone? I can pick up the twig. Pick up the stick. Oh, maybe I could use the stick here? Oh, right, yeah, maybe just to knock the camera out, maybe, yeah. My arm's not long enough. Oh god, it's another one! <laughs> nice spin. It was Mr. Kane's ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. 
This time, he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our own personal traits. For the next ten cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some of the aspects of myself that I could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others would agree to each of them. He called it re-engaging the perspective towards oneself. Blah blah. Wow. Like I really needed to reevaluate my stupid self. But it's not the dumb subconscious exercise that's bugging me right now. When the papers were being passed around, Brian, yep, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11pm now. Why am I writing about this? It's most likely an accidental glance, but I, I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid brain probs wanted an excuse for screwing up today's maths test. Yeah, okay, get out of my brain. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. Still didn't find that camera. Okay. Do I just take it over here? I, right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're beginning the second row. Right. Let's just continue reading and pretend there's not someone living under my bed. Okay. As the time we spent together grew longer, one question kept on growing with it. What does the me in B's eyes look like? Does he see me as I see him? Does he see me as I see myself? Does he see me as I want him to? I screamed in agony, but there was nobody to even hear it. Will others think that I... Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, a little bit of a test again. Let's just pencil in our answers, shall we? Yeah, that's right. So, will others think that I do not overthink? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> would they think I would never lie to my friends? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> never use others... Oh, of course. Won't betray anyone close to me. Never act on impulse. Yeah. A lot of... Am I a fucking... Oh, you changed my answers, you git! <laughs> Bloody demons. Uh, yeah, am I a fucking freak? Will others think that? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Alright, here we go. Where's that drink of water? Oh. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? I never thought the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? I saw you going in and out of the library, he said with buttery voice. It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. I come here from time to time too to get the stupid assignment out of the way so I can focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read, and since all he could think of were comics, he could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. Because boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Oh god. I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said, see you later at some point, and I said, yeah, see ya. Misery. Real nice, Sam. If Brian didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. Yeah, okay, you are overthinking pretty much fucking everything, Sam. <laughs> We've all been there. Ah, uh, right, so is, is that the end? Can we continue? Yes, we can! What I did, I did for B. All of them. Because I loved him. Why couldn't he just understand? Others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly cared. But B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. I never wanted a drama. I wanted a poemish life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it, as long as B does. B was always welcome in my world. I gave him the key to it. And I was really expecting that key to come to life as I tried to grab it, but uh, even if he lost it, he could always come back to our world to find it. And I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Let's go back to our small world where I placed my hearts at every way you loved. Let's go back. Right. Okay. Can I pick him up? No? Oh, can't go forwards. Oh, no, it is a real key. Great. Wait, okay. Uh, so what's the key for? Oh, the, there's a drawer down there that's locked. Right, okay. Yeah, it, obviously excessive reading, but uh, I'm actually quite liking this. Oh, the hearts. Are they? I think they might be stickers as well. Hang on. Oh, of course. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I visited there. I visited there because Brian took me there. What? It all happened so fast. 
I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere. Again. He said, hey, and started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book and how he'd never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give me a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world-famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. The donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place too. Unlike the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to restock. I found my own place of interest. A bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side, though. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out of the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was also visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that it's a secret base of some kind since a few people actually visit, since few people actually visit Colton Hill. He jokingly said he could take me there when I'm cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted, but hyped up beyond my limits. I can't sleep. How can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? Got a pen as well. Oh, it's epic. Amazing. What do I do with this? Well, let's just leave it down there. Right, okay. Uh, let's go back to this then. So, we got two stickers, it looks like. That's it. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, Joe's Diner is definitely one of them. He, he really liked the donut shop too, right? So... Uh, and I guess Colton Hill would be the other one, if there's a third, but I don't think there is. Oh, we're done. Broken memories, broken heart, broken neck. Crack, crack, crack. Sn Ooh. Oh! Did someone just snap my neck? No. No, I don't think so. I just, uh... Fainted or something, I don't know. Maybe it was the person living under my bed. <laughs> Probably should keep an eye on that, actually. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, let me just reference that again. I... He didn't like the arcade, and he didn't really like the music store either. Joe's Diner, World Famous Pancakes. Five stars, right? Should there be three? There's three hearts there, but there's only two... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't I see another one over somewhere? There it is. I knew I saw another fucking heart somewhere. <laughs> there you go. All right, so put that down. There you are. Right, now, your three favorite places should be the diner, the donut shop, and I guess the hill. Okay. No one's going to sneak out from under the bed and break my neck. Good! Hooray! Okay! I miss Morning Dew Bakery. B never shut up about its donuts. So tasty. They did taste sweet, just like B's heart. Each bite was another memory to savour. But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I miss its... Warmth. What was that? Did I leave the fridge open? I miss its warmth, I miss its sweetness. I need it, I need to eat it up. Let's just check the fridge. <laughs> A single donut! Homer Simpson would love it, right. Okay. <laughs> Let's just put it down there, that's it. Um, go back to reading, can we continue on or? No we can't. I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to... Right, well, I need to... I need to heat it up. Got an oven. And uh, there's a microwave. Well, let's use the microwave. Can we? Yes. Okay. Uh, use it. Turn it on. Oh. <laughs> I really like what this game is doing. It's just a shame there's a hell of a lot of reading, which I know is going to turn a lot of people off. Oh man, speaking of which, here we go. The Golems just obliterated the Hammerheads today. I now know why they say Brian and Kyle are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo too, if only Kyle wasn't an arseload of a douche. <laughs> okay. I mean, the guy has his name tattooed on his arm. Call me old-fashioned, but I think he should go to a hospital and get that ego checked out, because it must be swollen huge.
At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are at the opposite ends, so maybe it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, the rising teenage stalker. Uh, bringing the Polaroid camera I brought years ago during my camera geek phase seems like a good idea now. <sighs> I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama. But when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to label it as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed like... Okay, just like the pictures I took today. Maybe I should check out the bed. Well, first of all, let's put this back. Can I have a look under there? Don't grab me. I guess not. Yeah, never mind. Right, well, let's see. I guess we're like... Halfway done. <laughs> and still, no battery. Great. Okay. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day, I wanted to call him, just so we could chat. But I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say, Hello. That was as far as our... Did I just hear something? I don't know, I was talking. Uh, that was as far as our late night phone call chit chat could go. I hung up, wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line. I remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him. That red, fiery sensation. Red. So fucking red. <laughs> Oh god, red everywhere. Sam and Brian, Sam and Brian, S and B. Oh, right. Red everywhere. So again, we need to do something. Finish what you started. I'd love to. But I can't. There's obviously something I need to do. Probably another page I need to find. Oh, is that a red pen? Ah. Oh. Wait. Can I lean over and grab it? Nope. It's just too far away. I like this view, by the way. I'm just, like, literally looking right down at it. Ah, uh, yeah. Something to do with this, I guess. This epic pen. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, damn. Oh. Ah. Whoa. I was going to say that wasn't bad, but apparently a guy just fell to his death, so maybe I could have done better. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I mean, this is like a crush that's turned into love and then obsession, then it goes a little bit creepy, you know? Right, okay, well I finished what I started, so let's continue. Did I not? Well, I guess I've still got the pen, right? So maybe there's something else I need to do? They all look finished. Nothing over here? No. I'm not drawing in the fridge or anything, no. What about in the bathroom? I haven't actually gone to the bathroom and done anything in there yet. Oh, here we go. There it is. Alright, a little bit of that. I gotta admit, some of me wants to draw something really crude. <laughs> oh, come on again? Right, put that down. Close the window. I can't. Not even with the pen. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I don't know. Put that down. Let's just keep reading. Maybe I am done now? I'm not sure. No. That one there. Oh, it's so blurry. Alright, oh, that looks okay. Jeez. <laughs> Knocked out by my own desk lamp. I like it. Okay. 
This game is surprising me in some really delightful ways. Really? This is cool! Okay, do we have a flashlight or something? I can barely see a thing. Is this Colton Hill by any chance? That's my best guess. Uh, there's something over there. Something resting on top of the rock. <laughs> I just know it's another page to read. Yeah, well... Or is it? Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me, Brian. Hmm. Ambushed from the woods? <laughs> okay, looks like the person that lives under my bed maybe came out and cleared up. Thank you very much. Alright! Uh, oh, there it is. What do I do with this? I don't know, can I? <laughs> Let's take it to the front door, shall we? Maybe I can head over there. No? Hmm. Put it in the microwave along with that heart. No. Let's just leave it down here and let's see if I can continue read. Oh, there's another page. <laughs> okay. Due date for Miss Lassley's book report is right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. Only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason, I thought, hey, why not? The premise of Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches a conclusion that it's because of all those girls around him. So she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with the list is yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a, for a revise. Yeah. Uh, P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for my help with some of his works and I gladly agreed to. Why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practices so he can bring trophies to our beloved school, it's safe to say I'm part of a bigger cause. <laughs> yeah, not like I'm doing this for personal reasons, right? You just keep telling yourself that. It's quite nice going between the book and the pages, going between, you know, the start where it was all nice and the end when it was uh, all obsessive. That's that bloody window again. Okay, it's definitely closed. Yeah, the lamp's fine. Let's continue. Yeah, okay, yeah. Peep into his beautiful head. Yeah, why don't you? Fill it with the desires I had to secretly incubate. You, oh. Alright, we're just going to leave that there, I guess. Put it back. Nope. Okay, we'll save that for later. Desires of whispering words like, Don't leave me. Don't go away. Don't smile for others. Please don't look away. Please don't look away. And, you know, you get the idea. Right. Oh! Where did that come? Oh, I looked away, didn't I? Right. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's fail states in this weird, bizarre game. Interesting. Yeah, let's try that again. Right, so I guess just look at the circle? That's what it's about? Yeah. Now what? Ooh. Hey! No! <laughs> Stop trying to twist my head. You've already broken my neck once. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is, yeah, this is actually kind of hard to fight off now. Oh, shit, I'm running out of mouse, Matt. Oh. <laughs> I can only read a couple of words, but I don't want to look away. Mmm, <laughs> fuck! Is everything okay? Everything is A-OK. -okay. Apart from there's some more reading to be done, so okay, let's begin this third row. October the 4th now. Stacy invited everyone to the late post-victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like, St like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but... Since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me not to be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe 
just maybe I could even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with an alpha? Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I mess up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Well, something evidently did. Oh boy, okay, so yes, uh, like staring into closed eyes, I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still there? I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Colton Hill. How could I come so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I felt about B without any noise getting in the way. I still... Is there something behind me? <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay. It's alright. I think someone just turned the light off. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. I still could have some peace with Brian despite all the shit I had to deal with. Jesus. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. The smiles they gave him made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationships with Brian mean much more than the one I have with B. And yet, I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to college admission like a spotless student record. He can't just shake up my whole world, world and leave. Shit. Uh, probably should have a look at that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just these. Nothing else. It's not an earthquake. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Keep on clicking. I can pull. Yep, that's it. Whoa. Okay. Ah, there it is. Uh, oh man. Everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. Y you feeling okay? No, I was not okay. Then why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the centre of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You've reached a new low in life. Shit. Is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said, maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout. Since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me to his Colton Hill hideout? Tomorrow, I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak with Brian. There's something in my head that's keeping me awake. And it's not a hangover. Aww. Young love. Young obsession. Young suicide, possibly. Anyway. Got another drawer here. And another page. No one staring through the window? No? Okay. Oh. Newspaper article. Here we go then, yes! Suicide suspected in death of missing teenager. The girl of 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill likely ended her own life, police says. Sam Holt. Right. So Sam's dead? Who the fuck am I? Or am I the ghost of Sam? I mean, I guess I didn't have, like, a reflection when I looked at the mirror in the bathroom, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayright Academy, had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation on Miss Holt's death uh, faced a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of her former teachers. She was even publicly humili humiliated just before her disappearance. It must have worked as the tipping point for her. Rose and Pete. Wow. Okay, but yeah, the police say the fall did not kill Sam instantly. It's possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before dying. That's a lovely detail to put in the paper. And, uh, yeah, okay. I get the gist of it. Right. Well, there you go. A tr fairly tragic end. What was that? What did I just hear? Oh, right. Someone at the door?
Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the best thing to look through, you know? I mean, clean it up or something. I can barely see what's going on. Oh, we're back in the forest again? Okay, well this, yeah, this is probably where I committed suicide. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, are we in the exact same place? Yeah, ah, right. Is that me I'm looking at there, or is that Brian? I think that's probably meant to be Sam, but then if that's Sam, who am I? Fuck. Right, yeah, she threw herself off here. Or she was thrown. <laughs> or pushed! Maybe she was pushed. Maybe it wasn't a suicide. Well, they're reading the diary and everything. I mean, well, I don't know yet. I mean, there's still a few pages to go, and yeah, there's still a four. Jesus, yeah, of course, there's still a few pages to go. There's one right there. Oh boy. Oh my God, Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it's quite hidden and unsafe. You could easily roll down the hill if you're careless or drunk, and no one could find you for days. How awesome's that? <laughs> Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. Not yet, at least. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is, and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you can get fed up with views like this, too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hill's view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know, because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. If it wasn't so tragic, this would be kind of cute. So, right, yeah. Our sanctuary and all the life's problems down there. Let's continue. I wished it could be our special place. Hours and hours only. Colton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave, even after I told him we won't be together anymore. He thought he was too good for Rosenpeak. And me. To him, I was just a background in his picture. And I've still got this to play with. Right, so what's going on? What do I need to do? Oh shit, not you again! <laughs> Come out from under there, would you? Well, I don't have to stick this time, do I? Hmm. Okay, well, maybe that was it. Maybe I'm going to find a, a photo on the next page or something, like last time. Or, maybe not. It was definitely to the left. Oh, you don't deserve a face! Oh, <laughs> maybe that's why I don't have one. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about Mingled. Mostly because my stupid... Oh, sh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Ah. Alright, I, I guess I'll have to read this one later, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll give myself a break for once. Fuck. Let me out of this. God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. It's in the bath. Hang on. I, ah, yep, I see it. Oh my god. Right, there you go. Polaroid land camera. Oh, jewel wielding, baby. All right. <laughs> if you remember how to take a picture. Right, yeah. Basically, anything on the right side is right click. Anything on the left side is left click in this game, it seems. Oh man, okay, well, put this back to start with. There you go. Just one more to find, I think. Wait. 
What's going on here? Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drowned in my own endless nightmare. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece. No matter how I try to... Oh god. I hear them again. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. What is going on with my phone? <laughs> Alright. What's this? <laughs> Are you in a healthy relationship? It looks like the only option is yes. So, yeah. One must take as much as one gives. Uh, uh, no, not necessarily. Obsession is a stronger form of... No. I mean, it kind of is in a way, but... Uh, no one can have what you... No, that's not true. Don't be bitter about it. B never loved you. Oh, shit. No. No. I'm in denial now. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> it's not my fault. Are you in denial? Are you regretting? Uh, okay. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Who is it? Again, nothing. Just the sound of someone breathing. Is that it? And the phone's dead again. Bloody hell. Get a new phone. We'll sort out a charger or something. Anyway. Brilliant. Uh, it's getting worse. The fucking shithole town left a disgusting crack on my heart. And it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, my heart cries every time I see another page. It should be the last one, though. Anyway, yeah. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. Alright, one more time. Let's do this. Miss Lastly gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the ABCB pattern. So I took the liberty of letting my imagination go ABC berserk. Here's a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets are blue. My life would have sucked if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time. And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. P.S. I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorms are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though, if you know what I mean. Haha! <laughs> I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I've decided to not ignore this hunch. Is that someone reading your diary right now? Who am I exactly? <laughs> I've been playing Layers of Fear 2 and I was going through the same kind of conundrum. When I ran out of places to run, I had only one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark. Now I must look for them. One, two, three, and four. Right, let's find four things. Is it this? Can that go there? No? What do I do with this little face? This little head here? <laughs> Something. Can I start drawing? No? Ah. Oh. Alright. Uh. Oh, okay. I was wondering where that got to. So something in the dark, right? Okay. What was that? <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Was that one of them? I indulge your gaze? Okay. Yeah, that's that's one of them. So I, I guess there's three more photos to be taken. Oh, I cherish your smile. <laughs> huh. Alright, that's another one to add. Something over here, maybe? Maybe in the closet? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Although it's not in the dark, so it's probably not going to work. No, there's nothing there. Uh, bathroom? Wait, is there something on the ceiling there? Ooh. What was that? Keep me forever warm. Oh my god. There's spying on the guy now. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, still, the bathroom? 
coward. Was that there before? I don't know. Something over here by the desk. Mm, under the bed. What about if we... Okay, hang on. Try the bathroom again, but with the light off. Because it's meant to be in the dark, right? There you go. In the dark. Ooh. That's it! I like this game quite a lot, you know. Be my endless sun rays. Oh, jeez. Right. So we got the four... The four things to... You know, glue in, I guess. Um, Alright, so what's it gonna be? I cherish your smile. Keep me forever warm. What was it, ABC? Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Alright. Well, maybe we've got gaze and sun rays here, so let's move that over there. I indulge your gaze. Be my endless sun rays? Yep, I think so. I cherish your smile, I indulge your gaze, keep me forever warm, be my endless sun rays. Wait. There's a fourth row of them? Okay. <clears throat> with Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads, I once again gladly gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because a test is over. It's not like I'm burdened with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends with Kyle, who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you're a sports star, you'll end up with douches like him no matter how nice a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need talk to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend's friggin' Stacy Lanings. Uh, <laughs> the stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. Am I playing as Kyle? Was Kyle in love with Brian as well? It's like... I'm not exactly sure whose diary I'm reading at this point. Like, okay, maybe these are all... Um, uh, Sam. But maybe the book is not all Sam. Maybe it's Kyle's diary. Although there was the S and B. At the, okay, I'm not sure anymore. Anyway, yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive. Jeez. Have a nice life with him so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Oh no. Someone's at the door. Oh god, it's so dark. Right. Still got the camera. Hello? Still doesn't work. Oh, it does, though. Yeah, this light is weird. I'm not even sure if this is meant to be coming on. Might be a bug. Oh. Oh, wait, what? It's like a mirror. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, dear. Hello. Who are you? Hey, no, 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 stop! Okay. Bloody battery again, still unknown, come on. Who is it? Okay, well, someone putting the phone down. Now, oh, what's this? I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night. My lifeless room. Endless night. Oh, come on. All right, hang on. Answer the fucking phone again. I'm getting a little bit more each time I pick up the phone. But there's barely anything. It's not even breathing, I don't think. <sighs> Was it four more to go? Jeez. Uh... Alright, I just want to read my book in peace, okay? Kayako? Oh shit. She's in the bedroom! 
She's in the bathroom! What's this? My bathroom just got a hell of a lot bigger. And shinier too! Wow, alright. Oh. Toilets, I think. Yeah. Maybe that's what I've been seeing when I've been looking through the door. From like, there? Was it this door that we saw open? Yeah, maybe it was. I, I, the, the tiles look the same anyway. Right, what are we doing here? Oh, here we go. That's the same, the same girl from the survey, wasn't it? Oh, what the fuck are you smiling at? Yeah, what the fuck are you smiling at? Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> what the fuck are you smiling at? Oh my god. Uh, no. Uh. Oh, I can't really see anything. Oh god, you're still going after me. What? What do we go? What do we? What do we do? Wait, that that store just opened, right? Yes. Hide in the toilet. Why isn't my camera working? Oh, this is for B. Don't pussy out. Push, push, push the shutter. I'm trying. I have to be there. Do it. Yeah, that's the sort of view that I got when looking through the front door. I think. The There's something written on the wall. Okay. Wait, I <laughs> I belong in the in the bin. Uh, oh, hang on. There's something in the bin. What is that? A can of something? Oh right, oh bloody hell. I think that might be another page. Ah, right. Draw a nice big old smile. Yeah, okay! <laughs> I really do like this game. But man, it's, I don't know, this is maybe like a war of attrition that I might lose, because I- Hey! <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my voice, or I'm beginning to. Even after drinking a, you know, a few gulps of water. Right, I'm keeping hold of the can. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Great. All right. Okay, hang on. Uh, I might need to do something with this. Look. Okay, got it. Yep. Right, yeah, I think I'm going to need to do all of them. Oh, that's a horrible smile. Oh, I got it. Quickly. It's getting closer, right? Oh, God, up there? What the fuck are you doing up there? Oh. Was that death number three? Yeah, okay, the, the, the can and the, you know, the pointer, which you can probably see on the video, was just in a completely different place that time. There you go. Just need to fill it in, I think, don't we? Got it, okay. Quickly. <laughs> it's getting real close. <laughs> come on, come on, quickly. Open the- Open the door, get on the floor, we're back in the forest, but no, we're waking up in bed! And the place has really gone to shit, hasn't it? It's just trashed. Shit. Okay, right. Let me just check the bathroom. Okay, it's a normal bathroom. Kind of. Can we get back to the diary? Sorry, no, the page that slipped away. There was a consulting session for Greenheart University students program. Student program. They called it GUSP. Lol, what the fuck? At the gym today. Uh, I've seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. 
I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give a visit and spend my precious after-school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the Early Decision Program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran for my room, jumped to my bed, and out of nowhere, tears started to drop. I bet it was because of those stupid hearts. Yep, I saw those hearts again. Now... Now, they were on the gym walls too. Whoever drew them must be very insecure about the relationship. Insecure like me. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the walls too, but seeing Brian at the university booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna lie down for a bit. Hopefully I'll wake up next week. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all the stuff I've read and all the stuff in the book. It's like talking a marathon. That's what this game is. Anyway. <gasps> my life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. A long time ago when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star. I was still his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed when my whole world burned. I kept telling myself, maybe, maybe after graduation, I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward, but I chose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid, crawled up in bed. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm Kyle, right? It wasn't just this duo. We would, well, Kyle wanted to be more than that, obviously. I guess Brian didn't. He probably wasn't gay. Paul? Do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all this? Who's here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. So why do I have to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me? Like someone's always try- Wait, hang on. <laughs> Someone's always trying to judge me. My phone, again. Stacy. My girlfriend, I think. Yeah, I think I'm Kyle at this point. Anyway, how did the invite go? She in or not? <laughs> ah. Oh no, not again. You, <laughs> you motherfuckers. How did you keep doing this to me? I know I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. It wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Heard her shouting something like, I'm done doing shit for you, before storming away. And then she saw me. I was her next target. She strutted towards me and said, this is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Whoa, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird, too. He hasn't talked to me much recently. He even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong, but he cut me short, asking if I called him again last night. Uh, all I could give was a blank face until Brian said, never mind, and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of, but that doesn't mean I actually did it. What the hell is going on? Well, it was me, wasn't it? It wasn't you, it was me. It's because of her. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to enjoy started to crumble. Only bad changes happen in my life, no matter how hard I try to protect it. A city girl just asking to become an outsider. That was all she was to me. Hell, that was all she was to everyone else, even to B. But then, I saw them talking at the library. I couldn't see clearly, but I could know it from B's face. It was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. A change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. And she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. <laughs> Stacy, I'll be with you in a sec. 
The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that cunt on a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever, and suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider? That moment, I got tired of doing nothing. I knew I had to do something, so I gave Stacy an idea. It was going to be easy. Spike her drink, get her wasted, and humiliate the shit out of the city girl in front of everyone. Only then, she would know her place. It could have been so simple. Only if B didn't get in the way. Right, Stacy, what do you want? Hmm. Just keep reading our diary once in a while. Right, yeah. We've got quite a few pages of it. What's that? Wait. Oh god, we're in school! This game is actually really quite good. I think it's, uh, I don't know, maybe a little basic looking, but it's pretty damn good. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean the models don't look all that great, do they? But uh, you know, there's a there's a real good foundation here. <sighs> oh, no. No. oh, fucking hell! Right, at no. Uh, no, no, thank you. Get away! Get away! And then back to the book. What the fuck? Uh, right. Oh, another page, of course, yes. Right, I think just two more to go. Probably. Hopefully. I, I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. When I finally looked down, there were dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then at the pictures. Brian was there too. The face he gave me. The face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him, say something, anything to him. But the floor started spinning and people started whispering, like they knew what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have something to do with this. I looked for her but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There's no one to talk to. Right. So it actually does sound like she was ready to commit suicide, as that suggests, but... I don't know. I think my envy, my jealousy, maybe got the better of me. And maybe she was pushed. Maybe she was shoved off. Anyway. Yes! B, 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 right. Uh, I kept saying nothing was going on between them. But I was too cracked in the head to believe everything was fine. In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama she didn't deserve. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge into our lives and start disrespecting what I barely coped with. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hideout since first year of high school, and her presence turned it into fucking nothing. How could B do this to us? The only way to break them apart was to show Brian what a creep she was. Nice eyes. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote on her diary. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. Ah, Stacy again. Did she find the diary yet? <laughs> yeah, I am a little bit too obsessed. Yeah, I think he does, unfortunately for me. Shit. Okay, put the phone down. Oh, here we go. Maybe the final page. I really hope so. Unless, of course, they pull out like another fucking notice board. Oh, boy. Right, here we go. 
The school counsellor called me today. Mr. Ferns asked me if the rumours were true. Rumours that I've been leaving heart drawings all over the school. Rumours that I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B. And what, just because the initials are S and B, suddenly every name that starts with them are either Sam or Brian? And guess what even crazier words are on the streets? Sam Holt, the daughter of a child molester, craves forbidden love. How on earth did Stacy find out about Dad? What? Wait, that's true? Maybe? Uh, oh, maybe. Uh, why would she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she- You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words that describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again so far from home and so soon. Brian, please. Please say something. That's it. There you go. I'm done. Please tell me I'm done, game. Then I remembered. She wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in my life. It- oh. <laughs> Brenda. Oh yeah, here we go. If my dad went on the news for touching teenage girls, that's bye-bye world for me. Huh. Keith Holt arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do was fill in the rest of the story. Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to his voice. Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps them hidden in a locker. Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school to let others know Brian is hers. It was a ruse. And a good one. A needy city girl with serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the rumours I created. It was never easy. I once almost got caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. But I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. And, or and in the end, I got what I wanted. Or maybe there's an ant in the end, who knows. When enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then, Stacy's drama-filled head exploded. <laughs> nice drawing. Oh. Stacy. Whoa! Hide, coward. Right, in here? Close the door, right. What am I hiding from? Television static? Okay, right. That, is that supposed to be Stacy's eye? Right, hide, hide. Okay, right, I'm just gonna hide here because it seemed like I was safe. <laughs> yeah, she can't see me, I can't see her, it's good. Maybe you can run forever. Ah, I see. I suppose I'm running over there next? Yeah, probably. Go! 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 I say running, there is no running in this game. I suppose I just... Oh, yep, don't look, don't look. <laughs> I carve a path over there towards the door. Go! Jet! 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 Oh! Finally move on, right, okay. Well, <laughs> just kidding. You're gonna die. I'm done watching you get away with the shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? That you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her? Well, I had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when I got to the part of you drawing those retarded hearts all over the school. Hope you enjoy your happy life now. There's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What? Did you like the girl in the poster too? Is that why you tore her face off? You need help. And don't bother calling me. Stacy. Right. Where's that? Wait. Is that- Oh, that's just a reflection of the desk. I was a little bit confused then. Okay. Okay, so that goes there. Uh, can we move on now? 
we must be running out of book as well, right? Oh, maybe that was it. Wow. Oh, please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. I guess this is me texting uh, Brian. Right. Yeah. The day Stacy told Brian was the last day he talked to me. He was so angry at me. He would never understand what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. This time, someone had to pay for it. And that's where these two come in. Right, so you've got some hair, so... <laughs> A locker, okay. And then you go there. Right. Okay. Well, it's not the phone this time. No more pages. What's going on? Oh, oh! A school locker! Right here, okay. Do I need to find the key? Or... Is there someone in there? Dunno. I can't crouch to have a look through that bottom one. I thought I saw a note getting slipped through this. It said Brian on it, right? Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's that one. It's that right. Maybe we just slide it through there? Or maybe we don't. Right, I was wondering why I was keeping hold of this. That's it. Right. So that was put into Sam's locker, yeah? Sam thought it was Brian, but it wasn't Brian, it was Kyle. And now I'm back in a school corridor, I think. <laughs> Let's go left. How long- okay, this is gonna be a long playthrough. But I don't really mind, this is actually quite a fun game. And I think I'm- WHOA! I think I'm through the worst of it! That was kinda of freaky. Fuck. But no, 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 no! Was it eyes or mouth? Pick your poison. I pick neither. <laughs> I... Oh, jeez, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I... Nah, no. Just climb in one of the lockers. You can... <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> so what's that, death four, five? I don't know. I've been killed a few times. I've made a few mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Someone's gonna get me! Oh no! Ah, right! Okay, so yeah. Sam finds the note. And then she goes to the hill, that's right. There she is. So, I'm ne right, I'm, I'm definitely Kyle enacting my revenge now, right? Yeah. So it might seem... Like a suicide, but I think I'm about to give her a push. That's it. <laughs> no, 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 shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh, right, yeah, the note that Brian didn't actually write. Yeah, gotta get rid of it, gotta get rid of it. Uh, if you can. Oh, there it is, just hanging off that branch. Right. Um. Well, yeah, I, I, I can see it. Obviously, I'm gonna need to do something to get to it. Go around the outside, no. Oh, wait, no! That's why I saw it as a twig before. Use that. Maybe I could just get the bag. All oh, right. <laughs> the newspapers were right. She didn't die immediately. What was this? Oh. Oh, it's gonna get rid of the evidence. 
Yeah. <laughs> you keeping hold of it for yourself? Goes. So is Kyle going to get away with this? Oh, no? well, I'm keeping the lighter. Fantastic. What the hell? <laughs> Am I still in the room? Well, there's a door there. I don't think it's the front door. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to get away with this. Oh, bastard. Oh, where? What's going on? Oh, that. Oh, am I in the? Oh, I was in there <laughs> the whole time. Right. Where the hell did I get the laser from then? Okay, the lights are just not working around here. It's okay because that one's working, right? Okay, gee, we're not done yet. Even though we kind of know everything, we're not done yet. So let's see. <clears throat> It was an accident. I never meant to kill her. Or maybe I did. Did I? But does it matter now? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team soon after what happened at Colton. After that, the school. From what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to the university. He left town right after graduation. The fact that he's a star athlete with notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing the idea of leaving Rosen Peak since his mum died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with being attached to this to his hometown. We never got to talk about it, seriously. Brian didn't really want to. But every time he hinted about leaving, I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even those college posters all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of the impending doom. They were all saying, Haha, see? You're gonna die alone here. Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind. Soon, anger took control of me. And I just needed someone to be mad at... at other than Brian, right? Yeah. Uh, even after he left me, anger stayed. It devoured me whole. And again, it's time to wake up. But wake up for what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again? That I must stick needles into my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes? That's why they're littered all over the floor, I see. It's just like that story Miss Lassley told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. The last man on earth heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in. No one goes out. I'm so tired. I just want it to end. Let's just wake up. Let's just open the door. I don't care who or what is waiting for me. But what about my diary? The one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim and everything that's happened. I don't know what I'd do without it. What will keep me from going insane? So here comes the big question. Should I keep it? Have I still got that right? Still got the pencil! Here we go. Yes or no? Ooh, what should I do? Keep it as evidence. No. No, I regret saying yes! Oh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. I guess we're done. We're done. Fuck it. I'm not giving up the only thing that's left for me. Nothing's my fault. I'm not letting go of anything ever again. Oh, shit. Okay. Time to get up, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm sort of stuck in this view. I got a pencil. That's all I got. Oh. Oh, the lighter. Right, I can barely see it, but yeah, it's there. Nah, right. So. I knock on the front door. It's over here somewhere. 
I think. There, yeah, there are the light switches, so it's got to be over here. Who was that? Maybe Brian getting some revenge? Don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Or maybe it was Sam getting revenge from beyond the grave. It'll never end. That was actually really good. I really enjoyed that, despite my voice being pretty much gone. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it was very surprising. Probably a little bit too much reading for most people, and I, I kind of regret reading it all out aloud, but hopefully you, you didn't mind that at all. Yeah, um, talking a marathon. That's what this game was, and uh, I don't know. I think I need to give my voice a bit of a rest, so I'll see you in July. B could just go, hey, and I'd be like, hey. <laughs> Will he say hey to me again? Did Funny coincidence, maybe, right? Look beyond their eyes just by s No. <laughs> I see what this game is trying to do, and it's doing it fairly well. Getting closer. And closer. Ooh! This is actually kind of cool. Oh, Jesus! Stop it! Ooh, fuck. Hey there. <laughs> Oh god, it's another one! A lot of... Am I a fucking... Oh, you changed my answers, you git! Sna Ooh. Oh! Turn it on. Alright, that looks okay. Jeez. <laughs> Knocked out by my own desk lamp, I like it. Okay. Let's just leave it down here and let's see if I can continue read. Oh! <laughs> Stop trying to twist my head. You've already broken my neck once. I still... Is there something behind me? <laughs> Sam Holt. Right. So Sam's dead. Who the fuck am I? The fucking shithole town left a disgusting crack on my heart. And it's getting bigger and big. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Whoa. Wait. There's a fourth row of them? Okay, okay. Oh shit, that I might lose, because I- Hey! That's getting closer, right? Oh god, up there? What the fuck are you doing up there? Oh, oh no, not again. You, <laughs> you motherfuckers! No. No thank you. There you go. I'm done. Please tell me I'm done, game. Stacy's drama-filled head exploded. <laughs> nice drawing. Maybe we just slide it through there? Or maybe we don't. But I don't really mind. This is actually quite a fun game. I think I'm... Whoa! I think I'm through the worst of it. That was kind of freaky. 